Hey everybody, welcome back to Rocky's Kitchen. In this episode, I was a little bit deceiving in the title to lead you to believe that I had in fact cooked strawberries on the grill. In fact, if you read the title closely, it's how I made strawberries on the grill. So the real story behind this episode, before I get into it, I'm gonna let you know. Today's band shirt for Rocky's Kitchen, Courtesy of friends at Small Town Titans. Be sure to check them out. So in today's episode, uh, I repurposed, we bought a brand new grill and uh, I had the old grill that was all rusted out, ready to go in the garbage, and I thought, what else can I do with that grill? So I got to thinking I needed a way to keep my strawberries off the ground, keep the slugs out of them, keep the birds out of them. So we repurposed that old grill into a raised strawberry garden. So I'm gonna show you how about the process for that today. Welcome back to Rocky's Kitchen. So here you can see the old grill and um, yeah this thing's really rusted out on the inside more than it looks like from the outside and the thinking here is that we're going to use it as a raised bed we're going to flip that lid open and actually kind of hyper extend it this is going to involve some cutting off of some of the metal on the thing and uh, we're also going to put two side planters where the side burner was on one side and we'll have to cut a hole in the left side in order to make room for some containers to go into the planter. So let's get started on this rusty old grill and see if we can turn it into something usable around the Mar homestead. I think the most difficult part of this project was getting the rusty old screws out. I used a power drill and kind of just drilled right through the old screws and popped them out of the old grill. Next it was time to start the cutting. In order to be able to hyper extend the grill, since it was intended not to, to do that when you open the grill, I had to cut away some of the metal off of the back of it. I used an angle grinder with a metal cutting blade on it and uh, cut off enough pieces and just did trial and error till I could hyper extend the lid of the grill. So after a lot of trial and error, we were able to hyper extend the lid of the grill using the angle grinder metal cutting blade and we cut two holes, one where the old side burner was and one on the side where the shelf was where you stored your cooking materials in order to uh, make room to put a plastic planter in so that the strawberries could grow across the top of the planter and into the, the pots that are gonna, you're gonna see installed later on either side of this thing. So up next, time to paint. So a can of black spray paint later after covering up the wheels to make sure I didn't paint them and the project was painted black. Now the circles I cut out for the pots, I wasn't too worried about sanding them real smooth because I took some old rubber tubing that I had, measured it to the same circumference as the circle, cut a slit in it and just installed that rubber tubing around the holes I had cut that will hold the planters and make them sort of watertight uh, when the new planters are installed. To make the bed raised, I took a piece of wood, measured it to the size of the length of the top portion of the grill that I hyperextended, and installed it in there just loosely by pressure, just laid it actually in the top part of the grill. Since there were a couple holes kind of in the inside of the grill from the rust, I used some landscaping fabric so that the dirt would be held in place once installed in the grill. And as you can see, I took just some plain old plastic pots, put them in either the left and the right side of the grill for strawberries to creep into. One of the cool things about using this grill is it's portable. You notice I left the wheels on, so it was time to wheel it over next to the new grill to make it a little less conspicuous as a raised bed planter and kind of blend right in with the other deck accoutrements. Only thing left to do now was to uh, install some potting soil into the three beds of the planter and the two pots on either side and get ready to add the strawberries. Before I added the strawberries, I stole this idea from the show Homestead Rescue where if you paint some rocks to look like decoy strawberries, allegedly the birds will leave your strawberry plants alone. They will peck at these rocks, get tired of looking for strawberries that aren't real and go away and move on to something else. And I will tell you, after several months, the trick actually works. As far as what kind of strawberries to plant, uh, we decided to just help out a local school in our area that was having a plant sale, bought our strawberries from them, uh, only really bought three plants and separated them out and started off with a small little garden and as strawberries will do, they spread and spread themselves out and after a few weeks we had some delicious strawberries and uh, the birds left them alone, the slugs left them alone. 
So um, there you go. This is, uh, and this is some of the finished product here. So that is how we created uh, a raised strawberry bed using nothing other than stuff we had sitting around here at the house uh, so the cost was essentially zero minus the cost of the strawberry plants which was a couple dollars so uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of rocky's kitchen i know the title was a little deceiving some of you may ask for a strawberry recipe that'll have to come a little bit in the future but uh hopefully this was an idea that maybe some of you can use at some point uh, if you don't use the grill idea which i know is uh kind of unique Maybe the video will inspire you to look around your property, find something else you can use as a raised strawberry bed, but I do uh, enjoy having them raised up and out on the deck where I can just grab a handful whenever I want them. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Rocky's Kitchen.